In order to fix our bug, namely that the Mercury planet is always showing up when we add an additional space object and click on the cell, we're going to have to update the prepare for segue method. So let's navigate to that inside of the OW Outer Space Table View Controller implementation file. So what's going on here? Well, the reason this is occurring is every time we tap on our UI Table View cell, we're indexing into the self.planets array and getting us our OW space object back from that array instead of using the added planets array, which is what we should be using if we tap on one of our new added planets sections. We're do actually doing the same thing when we use our NS index path, specifically when we press on the info button or the accessory button on our table view as well. So we're going to have to update this code as well because we want to make sure that we're using the correct information displaying that on our detail table view controller as well, specifically the OW space data view controller. So we're going to have to add an if statement after our NS index path in order to update our selected object dynamically based on our self.planets array or the self.added planets array. So let's go ahead and do some refactoring. We're going to simply write if, and notice that I'm leaving my OW space object selected object, so I can actually just add a semicolon. And this uh, uh, is a variable that does not have a value yet. We'll assign a value based on the current section. So we're going to write if path.section is equal to zero, and we'll write selected object is equal to self.planets and we'll say path.row right? basically what we did here earlier next we'll write an else if and we'll say path.section is equal to one and we'll be able to say selected object is equal to self.added objects path.row. And then we can say, we can remove this line of code here, and we can simply say next view controller.space object is equal to selected object. So what did we change here? Well, we have an uninitialized variable, right? It doesn't have a value yet. And we're going to give it a value if it's section zero, well we know we need to use our planets array, self.planets, but if we're in section one where you need to use our added planets object, added space objects array, and we're going to index into that using path.row, we're going to use our literal syntax here, and then we set our next view controller's space object property equal to our selected object. Well, we actually need to do the same thing down here uh, for our accessory button, so let's go ahead and add a semicolon here, and we can add another if statement, so we'll say if uh, path.section is equal to zero, and we'll say selected object is equal to self.planets path.row, and we'll add an else if below it, and we'll say else if path.section is equal to one, we'll say selected object is equal to self dot added space objects and we'll say path dot row so again what we're doing here is we're creating a variable named selected objects and we're updating the selected object if it's in section zero so path dot section is equal to zero cell we're going to index into our planets array and if we're in section one we're going to index into our added space objects array and then we can remove this line of code here and we can update our target view controller's space object property to be equal to our selected object. So now let's go ahead and run our project and let's add our Pluto object again. So we're going to add Pluto and let's give it a nickname. We'll call it the dog and we'll give it a diameter 2360. Temperature we'll set to negative 240. It does actually have three moons, so it's actually a crazy number of moons if you think about it. And let's give an interesting fact. We'll say Pluto is the smallest of all planets. Great, we can press the Add button now, and we see Pluto. So let's 
first press on the info button and we see that all of our information is being populated properly and when we press on our cell we actually see our Einstein ring which is what we had wanted to see.